Arsenal Fan TV, Chris, glad to see you back, mate. And you come back from America and it's 6-0. I know, it feels like I've never been away. <laughs> um, thank you for welcoming me back. Um, yeah, I mean, it just keeps up the feel-good factor for us at the moment. Mm. We've got such momentum. I think that's seven, it, seven, in a, seven in a row we've won now. Six in the league in a row we've won. And we're, we're unbeaten in, mm. since Liverpool. You know, and we, it's not just winning. We've scored 23 goals in the last seven games, so we're scoring for fun at the moment. I'm not going to get too hyped because you have to put it into perspective with the opposition tonight. Mm. And also, um, historically, we are a very strong team in September and October, and things can change quickly. But hey, let's just hope for the best going forward and mm. we maintain this consistency. But that was, you know what, as you said that, last year, I remember you complaining about this a lot. Um, and it was true. We just didn't score enough goals. Mm. We weren't scoring goals last season. Mm. This season, we're scoring goals for fun. It's like mm. every game, three plus. Well, I feel there's so many positives on that particular subject mm. to take out of tonight. Was f firstly, um, I think it's gone a bit unnoticed, but uh, if you look at this season, we've uh, become very fast starters. We usually score the first goal. We're, we're never behind. Mm. It was, uh, I think we've been behind this season for like 50 something minutes. And it's like, that's been a massive problem for us in uh, previous seasons where we've struggled to break teams down and, you know, waited ages to get the first goal. Whereas this season, we're, especially against the weaker opposition like Chelsea, you know, we're getting ahead straight away. Um, but yeah, S Sanchez, first of all, made the comparison with Henri in terms of the number of goals he scored for us the other day. And I feel that if Henri or Burkham had scored that first goal tonight, everyone would be absolutely creaming themselves over it. It probably mm. will, will go under the radar, but that was absolute genius. For me, Sanchez should be challenging for Ballon d'Or. I know he's not as quite up mm. there with Messi and Ronaldo, but he is on the na that next level. He's world class, isn't he? He is. And, you know, he's, he's probably the hardest worker off the ball in the world. I don't think mm. that's um, a statement that's, you know, too overblown. And, but he's also a genius on the ball as well. I don't think he gets enough recognition for that. Um, Theo, great to see him uh, carry mm. on. I think that's eight yeah. goals in the last yeah. 10 games, mm. and that's more than he scored in the whole of last season. I think he's benefiting very much from like starting every game and we're benefiting as a side just by playing mm. a reasonably settled side every how game does, How does Giroud get back into this team? When, because this, the, the, this style of playing that we got at the moment where it's very quick, dynamic, you've got a front three, you know, again tonight, even with Iwobi out, you've got um, um, Ox in there running at players. Mm. How does he get back in? I mean, it's a big problem for him. Even when you, you look at it and down the line somewhere, Welbeck's going to be coming back as well. So, how does he get back in right now? I was very disappointed that Drew didn't play tonight. It's Claude's birthday, and I wanted him to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know how much he loves him. Um, but no, no. To answer your question, you're you've taken the words exactly out of my mouth. We're such a mo more mobile unit mm. uh, with Sanchez up front. We've spoken at length about this before, and with Drew there, it doesn't quite right. It's, and it's not just Sanchez being up front. It's the people off him as well, like Iwobi and Walcott, uh, just the whole team is more fluid. Mm. But Drew, let's not write off Drew. Drew mm. is still a very good striker in his own right, and yeah. we're going to have 60 games this season. We will need him. But that underlines another good point about tonight, and that we've also said about the strength of our squad. And look at who's come in tonight, and they've played really, really well. A lot of Spina, Gibbs, Coquelin, um, Oxley Chamberlain. Even Perez came on and, and provided mm. two assists. And for me, I really rate El Nini. Yeah, mm. we, I, I think he could be really good for us. And he can't even get a game at the moment. He mm. wasn't even on the bench against Chelsea when he was fit. And that just underlines how strong our squad is. And you think we've still got Giroud, Welbeck and Ramsey to come back. Mm. I think, you know, there's massive reasons to be um, optimistic about the, the rest of the season. But, you know, final word for Mesut Ozil for his first uh, professional hat-trick tonight. And, you know, it's... it's I sort of, uh, I don't want to make it into a play, but I, I sort of want a bit more from him on the goal scoring front. So we need him and Theo to, mm. to be getting double figures at least if we're going to be uh, scoring 100 goals this season, which we need to be to, you know, contemplate winning the league. And, you know, he, is, he has got that in him. He is world class and he is a clinical finisher. He's shown that for Germany and he needs to be doing that for us. But mm. um, the first touch for the first goal was, was sublime mm. and um, hopefully he signs a new contract now. I don't think Alexis Sanchez's chip was just so composed, you know, he, you know, he turned and went bang, top, you know, top corner goalkeeper had no chance. But I think it's the surety at the back, you know, 